scientific career. Boyle spent much of 1652–54 in Ireland overseeing his hereditary lands, and he also performed some anatomic dissections. In 1654 he was invited to Oxford, and he took up Residence at the university from circa 1656 until 1668. In Oxford he was exposed to the latest developments in natural philosophy and became associated with a group of notable natural philosophers and physicians, including John Wilkins, Christopher Wren, and John Locke. These individuals, together with a few others, formed the Experimental Philosophy Club, which at times convened in Boyle's lodgings. Much of Boyle's best-known work dates from this period. In 1659 he and Robert Hooke, the clever inventor and subsequent curator of experiments for the Royal Society, completed the construction of their famous air pump and used it to study pneumatics. There. Resultant discoveries regarding air pressure and the vacuum appeared in Boyle's first scientific publication, New Experiments Physico-Mechanical, Touching the Spring of the Air and Its Effects. 1660. Boyle and Hooke discovered several physical characteristics of air, including its role in combustion, respiration, and the transmission of sound. One of their findings, published in 1662. Later became known as, Boyle's Law. This law expresses the inverse relationship that exists between the pressure and volume of a gas, and it was determined by measuring the volume occupied by a constant quantity of air when compressed by differing weights of mercury. Other natural philosophers, including Henry Power and Richard Townley, concurrently reported similar findings. About air, Boyle's scientific work is characterized by its reliance on experiment and observation, and its reluctance to formulate generalized theories. He advocated a mechanical philosophy that saw the universe as a huge machine or clock in which all natural phenomena were accountable purely by mechanical, clockwork motion. His contributions to chemistry were based on a mechanical corpuscularian hypothesis, a brand of atomism which claimed that everything was composed of minute, but not indivisible, particles of a single universal matter and that these particles were only differentiable by their shape and motion. Among his most influential writings were the skeptical chimist, 1661, which assailed the then current Aristotelian and especially Paracelsian notions about the composition of matter and methods of chemical analysis, and the origine of forms and qualities, 1666, which used chemical phenomena to support the corpuscularian hypothesis. Boyle also maintained a lifelong pursuit of transmutational alchemy endeavoring to discover the secret of transmuting base metals into gold and to contact individuals believed to possess alchemical secrets. Overall, Boyle argued so strongly for the need of applying the principles and methods of chemistry to the study of the natural world and to medicine that he later gained the appellation of the father of chemistry.